Prepare for running away. Run away. Run away. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Panda Reacts. I'm Sandra and this is Ken Hi. and Ham. And it's Last Kingdom night. And I must apologize for it being on a Wednesday, not a Tuesday. There were some issues with another show, so I had to bump it to a day. So we'll be back to our regular schedule next Tuesday, no problems, as long as Crave doesn't crack down like it did on the show. Anyway... Last week was like a year in one episode. Mm -hmm. Uhtred got married to the masked lady. She was pretty. She was hot. <laughs> he, she got pregnant and had his son. Yep. This is what happened so with her. So things are settling in quite nicely in Wessex for Uhtred right now. Exactly, except that he was given as a hostage mm -hmm. to Guthrum. Yeah. Because Guthrum and Alfred had this kind of like... They made a deal. Deal, yeah, that they would... I forget what the deal was. They could stay a month in that yeah. castle. And uh -huh. they would exchange hostages to verify that he would fulfill the terms of the deal and leave after the... You know, like Guthrum was waiting to see if, uh, you know, Alva would come back. Yeah. And, and or all of the men that he sent for from Lund Lundine would show up. And uh, right. Alfred was saying, okay, well, we'll give you a month to, you know, leave the premises, and mm -hmm. so he's kind of hoping that Abba and, and the men from Lundin won't show, and then Guthrum will just leave. Yeah, he kind of lost that bet. Unfortunately, <laughs> Abba has showed up, the men from Lundin showed up, the ship showed up. And so they decided they would off the hostages. Yeah, so they're just going to kill the hostages now because they're of no purpose anymore. And Uhtred escaped by with help from his brother, Ragnar the Younger, the younger yes. who's with Brida now. And even though Uhtred is, swore his loyalty to Alfred and is going to stay there for mm -hmm. at least a year, uh, Ragnar is not holding it against him. He kind of does every once in a while. Yeah, it's like, kind of wants him to join be around. me. Join me and. And he this. said, "When you go fight Kiartan, I'll be there. Mm -hmm. I will help you kill that dude." And so he keeps telling him that I, I'll, I'll be. I'm with you with the Kiartan thing, but. Yeah. So now he's kind of really he's legit married to Wessex. Mm -hmm. He, it's really hard to say, okay, I'm going to abandon my wife and baby mm -hmm. and come with you guys now. That's not yeah. going to happen. So, and he wants his place back. He wants Bavenberg. Yeah. Alfred yeah. gave him some land with like, oh yeah, he married him to a lady that had yeah. serious this, debt. This huge debt attached to her that she, that she owes this money to the church yeah, and so that why that's why nobody else married this hot babe. Yeah, because he was she like, came what? With this Twenty thousand, you know, pieces of silver debt attached to her. Yep, yep, and uh, so yeah, she's he she they were keeping that a secret. He Alfred said it wasn't a secret. Yeah, to people who knew yeah, like Wessex. Was, someone had done a little research before <laughs> this happened. Yeah, he know. was just getting some like black masked over lady. So anyway, let's look and see what other people thought Don't of forget, the though, last like, episode. He did manage to get the full bride price, you know, from that little silly auditor who ripped off the bride price and, and only gave 18 pieces of silver or whatever when he was supposed to give 30. Yeah, because Uhtred paid that price. Yeah, so it was embarrassing. That embarrassed the dad of yeah. Otto there, so he made Otto pay him the rest. He was not happy. Okay. So Saturday Night commented that they thought exactly the same thing about the beacon as you yeah. did. The beacon of Amadine is lit! <laughs> Gondor calls for aid! <laughs> and Rohan will answer! <laughs> he said Rohan, but I accident, and he corrected himself later, and I didn't uh, leave that piece in. So, um, yeah. And I kept telling him to stop, because this is not Roar of the Rings! <laughs> but, you know, it's hard when things are so similar. <laughs> um, yes. Aragorn and Uhtred. Yeah, that's basically. Um, Aragorn's a lot smarter than Uhtred, that's for sure, and a lot more experienced. Yeah, um, ADJ, uh, we would like to know when Story cursed Brito with barrenness. Yeah, that's that's news to us because we don't remember that ever we happening. We don't remember that. I think having a miscarriage might make you 
barren. But, it might, especially when you, know, you take too many shrooms. Yeah, that's right. But uh, I don't know about the curse of barrenness. I don't remember yeah. that actually happening in the show. I'm trying to remember, but I don't. So you're going to have to tell us yeah. what episode that was and when it was. Because we do not know and we're, we, are, we are confused by your statement. Yeah. Right. Well, let's get going. I'm pretty sure we're on episode five, so mm -hmm. let's go. Well, things aren't going well here. Oh, dude. Dude, it's time to shorten sail when you got that much storm going on. If Uchid has survived, it can only be as a traitor, a danger. No. No. Regardless, there's no longer safe for you here. We already know what you want, not Oda. Safe. You're not safe for you either. Otta. Oh, this is her village, her village right? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I think this guy's up to something. I should really take your balls for this desecration. Yes, Lord. No, Lord. Uh, please. I don't care for you, your wife, your children, or your whore. Lord, he made me do it. The promise of a coin. It was false promise, Lord. I have no coin. Oh! A fresh horse, food, and drink. Yes, Lord. Your horse was returned. She had to do you. Give her some money. <laughs> yeah, because he doesn't trust that guy at all. Mm -hmm. He told her yeah. that, and she was all like, "No, no." He's a piece of crap. Yeah. If I got time, hold our position. Good luck, Alfred. will see off Cushman and provide us with reinforcements. Yeah, let's. Uh... Now we stay put. I don't know about that. On this hill. Is it Uhtred? Uhtred. <laughs> Bet money it's Uhtred. Alderman Uhtred, we feared you had been killed. That you were not as a miracle, or something less godly. Where is she? What? What? Where's my wife and child? God, we'll take your blade away from my lord, and you will do it now. Oh. Arsling. <laughs> Arsling. <laughs> you have my word that neither Mildred nor your son have been harmed. You are back from the dead and unchanged. All <laughs> <laughs> you have to do is get down from your horse and ask, have you seen my wife? Oh, Otta, you are so bitter. And jealous. And weasily. If the other hostages were killed, how did he survive? May I present the Lord Otta of Wessex? There never seems to be a meeting that you do not attend. <laughs> <laughs> is there more than one of you? Al Ragnar the Fearless is with the gods and they're angry at you. Allow his death to go unpunished. Avenging Uranga is not my business. That's for his son. You're next to die, Abba. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's right, though. He just told you mostly the truth. Sorry. Yeah, well, he's just... This is what you do, is you... Yeah. You, you know, he's You have upset. to cast freak, freak him out with his own upset. stuff. Who would sacrifice? I'll do it. Uh, <laughs> I'll do it. No. Volunteer. I'll need your word that you'll attack as soon as the fires have taken hold. Yeah, because if he sets the fire and he's by himself, mm -hmm. oh yikes! Is an attack likely to be successful? Uh, Chicken-hearted little. Would it not be better to escape this hill? Don't you dare! If you screw Uhtred over, I'm gonna be so mad. He's going to. Yeah. Your men. Tell them nothing. Your with respect, you told us nothing. I've told you to ready your men. Yes, but you. Ready your men. Each of you. For what? Go. Mm, Otta. Prepare. For what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leaving? You know what that means. Prepare for running away. Run away. Run away. <laughs> Good. I'm sure get out of there right now. Get out. Oh no! Well, I guess you have to now. Oh. I'll fight you, Albert, if that's what you want. But you will die. He knows his, uh... to the death. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my There's god. There's only one, like, outcome to this. Go, Tread! 
I don't think you're gonna win this battle. Help us. Yeah, he was just saying that to make Otta mad. Yeah, he's crazy. Oh god, oh god! Oh no, oh no! Oh no! No! Oh no, I don't like this. I do not. I love how they use this sword. <gasps> He hamstrung him. Oh my god. He killed him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ew. It is. <laughs> He's back. Oh! He killed Abba. Uh-oh. Be a good time for the Saxons to show up now. Yeah, um... No, I'm your new king. <laughs> I just... Oh, yes! <laughs> Thank God. Yay, Wilfric. Oh. oh. Oh, no. That's not good. That means the little piece of... Word. He did keep his word. You go directly to Alfred and you kneel at his feet. Tell the bastard you have saved Wessex. Well, I'll go to Mildred. If you don't do it, some other bugger will. And that will be reward. Men have seen it. They know what I've done. Let them tell Alfred. They won't. I need to see my son. Don't die, Otto. We don't want your peavy son to get to be mm -hmm. the Lord. What is that? No. No, 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 no. I'm scared. <gasps> oh, my God. God. <laughs> uh, no, because Otto's going to go there before and take credit for everything. Yeah, he will. Yeah. And he'll probably said you did something weird. <laughs> oh, yes. No, you won't. Not by yeah. you! You little jerk. Yeah. You... We're gonna run away. Who do you think killed the pagan? I cannot save you. I fought up a man on man and I killed him! You have broken my peace. You have broken the peace of Christ and you have brought weapons into a sacred place. Uh oh. I'm telling you, you will go directly to the courtyard and you will wait for me to pass judgment. Judgment? For what? I've done You will wrong. be quiet! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's not how it was supposed to go! This interruption cannot be allowed to go on. Shut up. Shut up, B. It must be dead. What? Peace be with you, my dear. It must not be death. Are you kidding me? <gasps> oh, it's all. Oh, it's the it's useless. It's Ethelwald. It's the useless Ethelwald. <laughs> This is really not fair. Now you will crawl all the way to the palace where you will kiss the cross and lie flat down on your face. Ether Wolf is like, what else? <laughs> oh, Lord, I am a sinner! Oh, Lord, look at me! I have known women, Lord! Lots and lots of women! <laughs> That was interesting. That was He's leaving. He's out. Bye. Where are you going? Drinking. I'm pouring. I love tits. Because <laughs> <laughs> you don't get paid. How much does he pay you for my timber? Lord, it's one tree. How much does he pay you? Lady, please. How much does he pay you? For my timber. Uhtred, no! You be quiet. Yeah, this guy's... This guy's not good.
But she doesn't know that. Oh! It's into you, like. That was justice. Whoa, dude! All right, that was episode five, and wow. Mm -hmm. Um, Utra did some good stuff and didn't get any credit for it. No, in fact, he got punished. But we did get to hear an amazing story about boobs from Ethelwold. Yeah. Yes, there he some, went off on. There were some good boobs. On the boobs. Talked about. Yeah, it was pretty good. Boobs. So at the beginning, Alfred knew that the Vikings were coming. So. He split the armies up. Mm -hmm. Otta and the other dude took the army yeah. one way. He took his army another way. And if they had victory, they would join the other. Mm -hmm. So um, basically, young Otta goes and tells uh, Mildred that, you know, oh, uh, the hostages have been killed. You know, I got to take you to my house, blah, blah, blah. So she runs off with him, even though she's really upset that Uhtred might be dead, which he's not. I got to say, though, that... that in the end, that turned out not to be too harmful for her. No, of course right. it wasn't. She was fine. Everything was good there. But we all know Ada is seething with jealousy mm -hmm. over whatever Uhtred has. So U Uhtred comes up with this... Well, first of all, he goads Abba in this, like, negotiation. Awesome negotiation. Telling him his gods yeah. are all mad. They're and all mad at him. Took and, out yeah. the ships from Guthrum's people because a whole bunch of those ships got wrecked during the storm. Mm -hmm. And Abo freaked out. And then he took off for a bit to contemplate life. Yep. And Uhtred was like, okay, so here's what we could do. We Go can set them all, all the ships on fire. And <laughs> and uh, and then while we're, he, we're, they're being distracted by that, you guys can attack. So Uhtred goes down and he's totally setting all the plate, all the ships on fire, mm -hmm. which is an idea he got from watching a lady pour water on oil and realizing it just made the fire made worse. The made the fire worse, yeah. And so he went down to the ships, put them on fire. Meanwhile, young Odd is all like to his dad, oh, we don't have to attack. We could totally leave the hill. It could be our chance mm -hmm. to escape instead. And his father was like, uh, and then... And then he told him to be quiet at one point. And then, thankfully, Otta the Yeld Elder went in with the troops because Uhtred got himself caught at the camp, as we all mm -hmm. know he probably would. Yep. Um, and Abba came out to fight him, and Abba lost. Abba really got, bad. Abba got killed. He got hamstrung, and then oh. he got stabbed, and he goes to Valhalla as a, you know, a Viking warrior. Yep, he, got, he said, go to Valhalla. Uhtred said go to Valhalla and was very respectful of that and left him with his axe in his hand, mm -hmm. which young Otta took away as some trophy to prove that he killed Abba, but he didn't. Nope. He took all the credit because, unfortunately, old Otta got very injured in the fight and wasn't able to tell Ar Al Alfred what really happened. But Le uh, Leoric said to him, to Uhtred, get your butt back to Alfred and tell him what you did. Leoric. And he's like, nope, I'm going to go see my wife and kid. So then he goes to see his wife and kid. Meanwhile, Otta takes the axe back and Alfred just either assumes that Otta killed Abba or that, you know, or Otta tells him he did. Either way, Alfred is all like up Otta's butt now. Mm -hmm. And... With Otta the Elder dying, I don't know if he's even dead yet, the younger Otta becomes the Lord. Yep. And he'll get everything. So anyway, Uhtred goes back there and he's like, what the heck? I did all this. This is, I'm claiming it. So he runs in there in the church with his sword. As usual. And freaks out everybody and Alfred is not happy. Yep, so he gets to do the penance. And Alfred's wife is like, he must die now. You know that right. The punishment is death. But Alfred's so like, mean. no, because he probably suspects that Otta's full of crap and yep. that's not actually what happened. <laughs> so he's made to like um, kneel and crawl through the, the muck. And then Ethelwold, who Ethelwold also had to because he escaped from a monastery. Does a magnificent, he, <laughs> he, mag he didn't escape. He absconded. He like. Oh, you know, did he steal? I think he might have stolen from the monastery. I think he did. Yeah. And that's a no-no. 
So Ethelwold is like ahead of him, and he's like, follow my lead. And he's like, oh, Lord, I have sinned. I have grabbed many titties. (laughs) It was was awesome. (laughs) It was insane. It was like he was speaking Alfred's own life. Because Alfred has done exactly what, what he said. So then Alfred turned away in disgust and left. El Uhtred would not kiss the cross and nope. lay on his face. He was like, screw all of you. I'm going home. <laughs> so he like, grabbed his wife and said, we're mm-hmm. out of here. And wife we're not baptizing our kid because your religion is stupid. And this whole place is stupid. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go drink and whore now. So he leaves her. And she's like, eh. Leo Fritsch. Meets up with them in the bar, and he's like, Uhtred, if you like wanted, we could all we we would join you and leave, and because he doesn't want to be with yep. Otta, Otta, the, the younger, Otta the, the, the chicken, the chicken, chicken head. So he's like, plants this in his head. Uhtred left anyway and went to his his wife's former place and killed Oswald, the big dude that she liked. Yeah, the uh, the guy who was what the guy who was milking the cow pretty seriously. He was stealing from yeah. the land, and Uhtred knew that. Uhtred had already caught him, like you know, getting uh, plowing a field with the uh, with the with the wench. He was there. plowing the wench's field, and she was like, "He said he'd give me money," and then he's like, "I don't have no. any money for you." So he was like, "I should kill you for this," and then, but uh, she he, she let, he let him go. And then when he came back, he was, like, so mad at everything that happened. He's like, that's it. I'm killing this dude. Because the dude had a tree. So Oswald, um, the big guy who lives at the farm, was taking a tree to the, the tree to chopper. The splitter. To the splitter. But he wasn't quite forthcoming on where the money goes from yeah. the tree. So Uchid ran him down, stomped him out with the horse. And then... Stabbed him, stabbed with his, him with his and then right said the to Mild- Mild- Mildred, 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 that is justice. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. He's like, there's no justice in Wessex. Yeah, he's mad. Okay, so Uhtred is kind of the author of his own discontent. If he had gone to Alfred um, Mild and said, I killed Abba, Abba and I, burned, I burned this, this whole plan yeah. was mine. And Ada, the old elderest, in serious, you know, pain and whatnot, then it would be cool. But no, mm. he was so mad that Ada, the younger, was taking credit that he ran. And Father Biak was like, don't go in. Don't go in. You can't disturb the peace. Oh, he disturbed the peace. And then he drew his sword in the presence of the king, which in apparently is punishable by death. And in the church, so he kind of like double sinned. But... Then he went to go whoring and whatnot. He wasn't really whoring. He was just bad. He was just drinking and... Yeah, he was mad at his wife. Being cranky. Because she keeps trying to get him to like the Saxon ways and he's all... He's raised... For the majority of his life, he was raised by Danes. So it's very difficult for him to understand all that he's supposed to do as a Saxon. Yet, he wants his Saxon land. Mm -hmm. So, but... The Ulfrich was kind of hinting that that's a possibility. Yeah, he just kind of like, maybe we'll... Because I like you. Maybe we'll go take it from the Britons. I like you, Arsling. <laughs> Let's go steal from the Britons. We will plunder. And then we will take our plunder and we will rule. And it's like, yeah, you could do that. Now, Alfred didn't even have to fight. Yeah. His war never happened. Yeah. He never had a single battle, didn't lose a single man. No. Anyway, good episode. Mm-hmm. If you like our videos, please subscribe, leave comments so we can discuss them, check out our other playlists for Last Kingdom, our other reactions, and until next time, 